Hi friends, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of the June Cloth and Paper Pinspiration and Stationery Box. Um, I know a lot of people have probably already shared the June box with everyone because it comes with an amazing black matte Ollie clip. Um, there's a spoiler for you. But I wanted to show you this box because I actually changed my subscription to I don't own a ring bound or disc planner. That's not really true. I do, and I'm using this disc bound system from Cloth and Paper for my content planner, and it has all their dividers and inserts, but I already have all of my inserts for the 2021 year, and um, yeah, so I didn't need more of those inserts for my content planner, and I wanted to see what they would do or what they would send if you chose that I don't own a disc bound or ring bound um, option, and I am pleasantly surprised. So let's jump in and take a look at the June box. So this is the Pinspiration subscription. So if you don't want to do the stationery, you can just get their pin subscription, which I have been doing for quite a while. And it's very reasonable. It's like $14 and you get five or six pins every month. They do send a Pinspiration board that kind of talks about what inspired the box. And then on the back, there is a pen testing sheet. So let's go ahead and look at each of these ink pens and do a little pen testing. I did not pull up the blog to see what the official name is for these, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, this one's labeled the Pentel Illumina Flex, and it looks like it's dual tipped. So this side has like a fine tip um, marker. And it is like a mint green, it's really pretty. And then on this end is a highlighter. So kind of like a mild liner, only the Pentel version. Really nice. Next up we have this green kind of chartreuse um, pen, usually they're black ink. So let's go ahead and write with this one really like that one too. I like a little bit of a thicker um, ballpoint or gel ink, either one really. Okay, this one came in its own sleeve. It says gel ink. It looks like it's imported. Um, a nice thick barrel. I don't know if you can see, it's actually kind of squared off towards the end, so you have a good um, place to grab the ink pen. Those covers off the end. I like that one as well, probably better than the one I just tested. And then we have this maroon, looks like a gel ink. It's really fun for a different color. And then lastly, this clear and black barreled Pinac 0.5. The ink on this looks a little bit more vibrant black, like a deep black than the other two, but still a nice gel pen. So that is the June Pinspiration Kit. And at the end of the month, um, it's nice that they include these clear envelopes because I like to store my pens in them with my chest card. And then I drop them in a basket. I'll show you those too. Well, maybe. I do like to share how I store things to make it more functional and maybe give you guys some ideas. Um, this is a cheap, affordable option. It's a wire basket from the Dollar Tree. It's in a pretty gold metallic. And then you can see I have some of my previous pen inspiration kits in here and they're all sorted into their envelopes that come with the kit. And then I label these with a Planner Kate sticker. This is my Gen Plans collection from Planner Kate. And I just will go to this sheet, which is sheet JP48. And this month's box is June, so I'll grab that June sticker put it up here in the corner 
then it's ready to be added to my next basket. Okay, now, like I said, I chose the I Don't Own a Ring Bound or Disc Bound Planner. So what did they send me? Um, they sent me Happy Planner, mini Happy Planner stuff. And this is what I was so impressed with. They sent me the actual discs to use to set up this new planner. So um, I have these clear 1.5 inch discs. And then they sent me a bunch of happy mini happy planner mini hp inserts so we have these that are uh like a half sheet in a nice grid i also got these duo notes graph and blank so again mini happy planner size these are the full size has room for the date up here half the page is a nice grid half the page is blank also got the 2021 horizontal weekly for August so you can see it has an A for August and then you jump in and actually let me zoom. let's go ahead and take a closer look at what these new horizontal layout looks like so you have Monday through Friday on this side with a um, grid page Saturday and Sunday on the opposite page with a grid and then you have this section down here that says priorities, memo, next week, and the monthly calendar. So the good thing about this is that they sent me everything to kind of try out a new planner size, which is always fun. But the bad thing is I already have so many planner choices lined up for this academic year that this just makes it harder because I really do love the layout of that. So this is the same thing, the 2021 Horizontal Weekly. Um, for July so I could jump into this tomorrow if I wanted to so same layout for the month of July so you have July and August we have this nice dashboard um, it's a thicker cardstock it's a blank on the back so you could use this as a divider or for the cover of your planner a black and white kind of watercolor swirl dashboard as you can maybe see with the lighting this one's more of a pure white and this one's more of an ivory color and then we got some minimal shape sticker sets and they might look kind of clear um, on camera but they're actually a light blue so let's see if I can put one of those on a piece of paper Oops. Drop stickers, these are larger ones. Put that on there and see. Maybe you can tell that that's more of a blue color than clear. So you got the larger teardrops, some smaller ones. Oh, another set of large ones, another set of large ones, and some teeny tiny ones. Also got a calendar card, which I think these used to have a backing on them. I don't feel it on this one. So this is more of a frosted um, acetate look. You have your August calendar card and an awesome little quote card. Just be in the moment. And then I really liked this. Um, they have a, sent me a front and back cover so that I could start setting this up. So this one does have that. You can peel that off. That's the back. Crystal clear, which I really like. It's great quality. So let me go ahead and take this front and back cover, open up my discs, and pop all of this stuff in.
All right, so that didn't take very long. I have everything put in here. Like I said, what I love about this is it's a fun new way um, to try out a size. So you might not be committed to this size, but they give you, you know, a couple months worth, July and August worth of planning pages that you could definitely try it out and see if this is a size that would work for you. And then if you love it, obviously you could switch your box to um, that size insert and you'll be getting more of those. So really, really pleased with this month's um, cloth and paper. And oh my goodness, how could I forget? I already had taken this out of the box and was already using it in a planner. A lot of people subscribe to this month's box just for this and I do not blame them. Um, it's really stunning in person. It's the matte black cloth and paper Ollie clip. So you can clip that on wherever you want. Hold your pages. Um, that's what I usually do with it. Some people just put it on their cover because it looks good. Um, but you could definitely use it as a page marker. It holds lots of sheets. So um, that was a nice addition and I hope they have different ones in future months. Thanks so much for watching my June cloth and paper unboxing. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask. Happy planning.